Well, you don't always get royalty in the building. I have a superstar here with me. She's a super talented actress. Uh, she's a broadcaster as well. And she's done so well for herself. I mean, the very first time I saw her in a movie, I was like, oh, who is this new face? Oh, I love her. <laughs> and from there, I mean, she's never looked back. Um, I think the first time I saw her was in Perfect Picture. And yes, today we're here to talk about Perfect Picture, 10 years after. And there's a new Perfect Picture. There's some interesting cast as well. We'll talk about all of it, but I have Na Ashoko Doku Mensa here with me. Na Ashoko, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's good to have you here. It's good to be here, actually. <laughs> How are you? How are the kids? How's the family? I'm fine. The kids are amazing. Everything is perfect. God is good. Everything is perfect picture. Yeah, just, <laughs> just as I hoped. Nice one. Yeah. So we're here to talk about Perfect Picture. That's yes. why we are here. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, uh, a movie came out, Perfect yeah. Picture. We're yeah. like, okay, okay. We watched it and we were amazed. We loved everything about it. Ten years after, there's a new twist to it. Yeah. Tell us about the new Perfect Picture. Ten years after. Huh. So ten years ago, yes, we had this awesome movie, the Perfect Picture film, which Ghanaians loved and embraced. And we're very grateful to everybody for that. Ten years later, we're back. The girls are back. The girls are older. Their lives are not as perfect as they hoped it would be. But um, the twits and turns in life, I guess, make our lives the perfect lives that we hope they'll be. So 10 years later, we are older. Mm. 10 years later, um, in our personal, actual lives, I guess, um, we are better actors now. We understand and appreciate the stories more. And 10 years ago, it was just... You know, women trying to figure stuff out. Ten years later, guess what? We're still trying to figure stuff out. After ten years? Growing up is a scam. <laughs> it's a big scam. It never gets really perfect. <laughs> you know, our lives... The thing I love about ten years later mm. for Perfect Picture is that the story tells or brings in all women mm. who watch it. Um, it's, it has a bit of everybody's story. So you know the things we struggle with, especially the things we don't talk about, about our, our emotions, about our sexuality, about the men, about our business, about money, about having children, the struggles of, you know, a lot of young women in their marriages, um, struggles of women amongst themselves as girlfriends, um, trying to get financially ahead, trying to get ahead in your career, trying to figure all of that out and still work out, look good, stay on Instagram, you know, be tweet. polite, <laughs> tweet, drink enough water, mm. stay hydrated. Mm. It's, just, it's, it's just a whole big basket mm. of what women are ages. So we're just pushing, um, late 30s um, go through an encounter and experience day to day any babies in 10 years after so many babies oh my <laughs> god <laughs> one of us actually has five babies <laughs> that's a lot yes that's a lot yes tell us about the experience shooting 10 years after perfect picture because we have new cast there's yeah. rmd yes. there's beverly beverly naya and yes. uh, there is gloria Safo. Yes. you know new faces yes. this is not just the three girls the, yeah. anymore <laughs> so um first of all we're very excited to have um, richard mufet damnijo rmd has been one of our most revered actors from nigeria beverly naya amazing young woman and then there's also gideon okeke Mm. all from Nigeria and so being on set with them was 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 great it was surreal locally so us girls have now I, w 10 years ago we all had just met you know on set like okay this is Jackie yeah <laughs> I know so like okay I Jackie know, Pia, and then we're all just trying to be like oh hi hello yeah I don't talk too loud <laughs> but now we've we've you know we ha we're all friends now and you can tell you know, when you see the film versus 10 years ago when, yeah, we, it was acting, it was great, but now it's Chemistry real. Chemistry is better. You know, we are actually friends. We actually care about each other. So you can tell from the film. There are also some really great new actors. Um, Jocelyn Dumas was in part one. It was her first time on screen. Yeah. This time she's even much bigger yeah. in the film and it's great. There's also Gloria Safo. There's a, a new actor. His name is Ralph. He's amazing. You should see him. Um, we've also got um, Anita Eskin. KSM is in there and I could go on and on. So one thing we have grown as actors and we have bettered our craft. Mm. And another thing, there's a real bond 
that makes it also seamless. Seamless, yes. beautiful. I think yesterday I was talking on the show and about Shirley, and I think I sh we should all applaud Shirley. Oh yeah. Should always, Absolutely. always put a new face in there. That's why so I like the way you said, uh, you know, there's a new yes. guy in there. Shirley would always put a new face, and it ends up, you know, good for them. But ten years after yourself, Nashoko, ten years, the progress. Talk us through the whole industry acting thingy for you. Ooh, so Perfect Picture was my first big film. Before Perfect Picture, I had starred in Scorned, Scorned. also by um, Spiral Pictures now, previously Spiral, Spiral Productions. Production. So um, I think I have been very, I have, I have progressed very steadily, you know, in the industry. And so aside acting, I also do broadcasting full time. So I do have a, a show on radio, uh, radio, radio Joy FM. And then I, I do TV and I do stage acting as well. Oh, wow. So. And you're a mother as well. Yes, and I'm a mom. <laughs> I, have a, I have two wonderful boys, a two year old wow. and a six month old. Wow. They're my world. Wow. So, so I, I think I progressed very steadily. Um, you know, perfecting my craft. I'm still not quite there yet. I'm still on my way. Um, choosing what to do, what not to do, choosing how to do it, how not to do it. It can be tough in this industry. Um, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of pressure to do things a certain way. But I think what has kept me going is knowing what I stand for mm. and where I want to go with my career and I've just kept to that and mm. and here we are now I, I look forward to the next 10 years because I think the next 10 years will actually be the best for me um, I've been learning and growing so far I think I'm ready now to just conquer the world the world is my oyster now <laughs> we are interested in how you choose what to do and what not to do that's how we can all learn from you I mean this industry is a bit messy a bit so it's you know how how do you choose what to do and what not to do especially in terms of film you know when it comes to acting how do you choose what film to do what film not to take part in it's a tall list but most importantly it is what you would like to watch when you are 60 and still be proud you know what you'd like your grandchildren to watch and still be proud so it's really it's 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 it's, it's, it's a whole basket mm. from the kind of story it is to the quality of the production to even the other actors in the film to what a story tells I am all for stories that actually teach you something mm. and you know stories that you're able to take something home from um, yes I, I even if it's comedy mm. you know if it, even if it's just fooling and laughing you know it must be it's must bring some healing to the soul right. if it's comedy right. it must bring something right. Right. it's it's not just oh, pretty people pretty yeah. cars yeah. pretty everything there must be meaning to it you know I want to say I helped you know bring this narrative up I, I contributed to flipping the script on this issue I did this I did that I want something I can be proud of so I think that's the most important something I can be proud of many years later and then you know there's the other things quality of production who you're working with and um, what the lines say the other actors on set and so on so it's a whole basket I, c I can go on and on have you started any Kumawood movie yet? I haven't had the pleasure. <laughs> I'm a genuine Nuchi. I'm a genuine Nuchi. So mm. Nuchi. What's the Chi, Papa? Me to me Bube. Sa. Me to me Me to me kind Chi. Sa. I can't Chi. Sa. E Bube. Sa. Me pacho. Me pacho. Can't Chi, Papa. So, so when the offer comes and yes. you look at the script and everything, yes. you're open to doing absolutely like that. What What I'd love to do actually is a movie in Ghana. So yeah, showcasing Ghana. Yeah, you know. For I I love showcasing Ghana <laughs> and so so I like I like. I would like to do a local Maybe language. because mm. since you are into production, why not start something like that? That's, that's actually a, a thought. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, a thought. Please, uh, cast me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> now, Shaka, thank you so much for coming. But Pleasure Perfect time. Picture, where can we watch it? I hear there's something happening on the 1st of December. So on the 1st of December, there's an exclusive um, showing at the Labadi Beach Hotel. It's, it's exclusive. So it's for a limited number of people. However, if you really want to come, you can call Spiral Pictures. Um, just go on Instagram, you find the phone number there. So you can call Spiral Pictures and request an invite or a ticket, and they'll help you. Sorry. There's also the cinema showing, which starts on the 14th of December at the Silverbird Cinemas. We'll all be there. 
for that first showing at the cinema. And we look forward to seeing all of you there. We'll be there for all the showings. We'll try. <laughs> 14th so of fun. December, yeah. uh, where would you rather be? Uh, let's go and support them. It's very important. I've always said that. I mean, once is Ghanaian, once is from our own, is our own. Let's go and support them. Let's, let's fill up the cinema. I mean, let's go every single day. If you watch it once, go the next day and go and watch. Go with your mother, go with your family. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. Your final words to your family fans on perfect picture what right. you want them to know about it so the perfect picture film is for everybody everybody fi would find a part of their life or a part of their life story in it or the story of your friend or your sister or your mother and so on and it's not a film you should come and watch alone or with one person you should bring your clan bring your girl <laughs> squad <laughs> bring your boy's voice you have to come in your numbers if you come with just one other person you, you won't get the experience mm, like you ought mm, to so mm. come with the, the the gang everybody come together come to the silver bed cinemas come and watch this film we promise you would love it. It'll be worth every CD you spend on the ticket. And above all, you'd be supporting a very good cause. You'll be supporting a very, very good cause. Thank you so much, Nashoko. Thank you, too. I'll come to you in school, so you see. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs>